Hello all, I'm Ivan and this is my home allotment veggie beds. Right, I've had one or two new subscribers this week as well, again, so thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, there's a button in that corner, hit on the button and hit on all and you'll get my notifications. Right, I've got quite a lot to uh, plant out today, I think. I'm going to put take that cabbage that's been taken the top off of i'm going to take that one out and put another cabbage no cauliflower sorry yeah cauliflower i'm going to put in there i did look for some of my one of my subscribers said look for a leather jacket but i couldn't see anything when i look so when i plant that i'll have another look Uh, I bought my tomatoes out a few days ago, so they don't seem to be doing too bad. They're all right. Uh, <laughs> these are my uh, giant grey sunflowers. I need to find a space for them as well. But I've got these beetroot. I'm going to plant them out today as well, I think. And I've got these uh, winter radish red meat i've only got two so i'll probably plant them out today as well uh, yeah so we just start with that cabbage and get the uh, beetroot and winter radish out i've got some more spring onions as well so i'll put them out as well today i think so This needs a bit of a weed first. So as you can see, it's got quite a lot of weeds on top. So we're gonna to have to give that a weed first and this little bit here. So I'll bring you back when we've done a bit of weeding and I've sorted the uh, plants out that right, we're gonna do. Back. And as you can see, my brother's done this little bit and I've done from here all the way to here. It's all been weeded and everything. And uh, this is the plan for the, this is what how I'm gonna plant them, right. I've got the, two cauliflowers there, row of marigolds, two winter radish red meat, so yeah that wasn't very good germination like last time, another row of French marigolds, then I'm gonna have a row, possibly two rows of beetroot, and then a row on the end of French marigolds. We're going to plant these up in this little bit as well. These are my uh, other uh, spring onions, just to get them out. So, yeah, we go on and do that. Right, now that I've dug these holes out, or planted holes, they're obviously very dry, yeah? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a watering can. Fill up these holes. Like this. And I'll come, I'll just let that drain away then. Yeah, I'll get another bucket of uh, water and put another load in there again just to make sure that it's got loads of water. Right, I ended up cutting the tops of my broad beans off. As you can see, I did it the other night or the other day when I said, but if you look, we have got broad beans starting in quite a few places. So yeah, should get quite a lot of broad beans this year, hopefully. We'll have to see how we go with the black fire. Right, this is the top bit where I'm gonna have my compost bins. We're gonna have a fire tonight, get rid of all this wood and stuff. And as you can see, I have been working around here a little bit, been doing bits and bobs. So I need to see if I can bust up those pallets or something, get rid of this bit. Then we can get this tarp up and see what's underneath it. But yeah, it's starting to clear up. We'll get there in the end. There's no rush, you know. So, yeah. Right, this is the black current cutting. That I took a little while ago, I can't remember how long ago it was, a few videos ago now, 
but as you can see the top's starting to grow nice now I can't see any real roots through there yet but I'm sure it's growing because as you can see we've got a top there now a, a new leaf still haven't thinned these out but I will get round to it I'll do that off camera I'm not going to show you that and I'll show you after so I'll probably do that in the next few days and I'll show you that on Wednesday yeah and these are the cucumbers so I don't know whether I should take some of these bottom ones off actually because there's loads on there so I'm tempted to take some of them off but yeah we'll see let us know in the comments if I should take these ones off the bottom right once I've had that bonfire up there I can empty that, get the ashes out, sieve it because it's going to have pallet nails in it, yeah? Once I get that, I can move that drum out of the way. Then I can start moving these two compost bins up there as well. So, yeah, we're getting there slowly, little bits at a time, you know? But I'm hoping to do the empty them bins take both of them and put it in the big bin that I had there that I've moved put all that compost in that bin and then move them other ones over this side right there you go two cab two cauliflower a row of French marigolds two winter radish red meat another row of marigolds I've got some uh, multi-sown beetroot and more marigolds on the end so they're going to need a good water when I get around to it when it cools down a bit so that's going to be it for today so thanks for watching comment in and sub in if you haven't subbed there's a bell down there click on the bell then click on all all right cheers bye